Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, August 4th, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 5, reading from verse 1 to 2. And it says, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. Be not rushed with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God, for God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Amen. Now, as we think about the reading this morning, it is telling us something that many of us lack practice or many of us do not practice what does it say it says that whenever we go to the house of god we must what be ready to hear more than to do what offer sacrifice so our objective must be to what hear what God has to say to us not to talk him out or to make a bag of noise or whatever and that is why worship it must take careful consideration because what we are going before a holy God and God does not deal with noise so our worship style the way in which we worship is important because think about it if there is too much noise how is it that we are going to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit speak to us how are we gonna hear what the Lord is saying to us if we do not take time to listen Now, am I saying that we should go to the temple and we should keep silent and we should not, you know, be active in the worship experience? Certainly not. But our worship experience, it must have reverence. So it must be something that is acceptable in the sight of God because we are going before a holy God we are not going before our friends we are not going before our pastors we are not going before other members we are going before God and think about it if God was standing directly in front of you physically do you believe or still believe that the way in which we conduct ourselves in the house of god we will still do it the same way if he was there physically or if we could see him face to face like how you might see me and i am seeing you i don't believe so but we somehow do it forgetting that god presence is everywhere and especially at his house because it is his house and he comes to meet us at his house or we go to meet him at his house and so he says that we must not be rushed with our mouth some of us we love to speak or we love to talk but there are times when we need to keep quiet and we need to listen You know, one person said that is why we have two ears and one mouth. Which is to suggest that we must speak less and listen more. And that way we will learn better and we will learn more. Because if we keep talking and never listening, then we will never learn. Do you understand? So... We are not saying, or the word of God is not saying, that we should not have a wonderful, rich worship experience. 
and I do not like, you know, when people give that implication or impression to suggest that others are telling them to shut up in the house of God. No. Why would you think that someone is trying to silence you in the house of God? The only way I would say if someone is silencing you in the house of God is if you are behaving inappropriately. That's the only way. But if your worship is one that is acceptable in the sight of God, stop looking at everybody else. Stop looking at everybody else. Because a lot of time, we are so consumed by our own self-righteousness and the fact that we are not willing to even accept correction from anybody because we believe that we are more holy we believe that we are more righteous and we believe that we are filled with the holy spirit and everybody else is not so if we see somebody worship different and i use that word carefully if somebody don't say amen we accuse them of not having an experience but you don't know you do not know and i think it's wrong for us to judge each other when that's not our responsibility to judge anybody because the bible says that we all have to stand before the judgment seat of god so in your heart if you know that you are not worshiping then god will judge you in accordance with that it's not my responsibility or my place to judge you but yes I can give some guidance as a brother and as a sister and I hope you can do the same for me but the bottom line is there that we must remember that when we come before God that's the important thing I don't want us to forget whenever we come before God we must come with a reverence attitude and remember that we are sinners and that we do evil and we need to confess those evil we need to confess those sin as we come into the presence of God and if we are just talking 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 and never listening then we will never hear the instruction coming from God because we are trying to talk about his voice have you ever heard that saying somebody's trying to talk to you and you are trying to out talk them or talk over their voice it's like you are trying to drown out what they are saying remember we need God then more than he needs us it's supposed to be a mutual relationship that we share so that we can bond with our savior right let our hearts be humble before god right and as i said remember that god we are not going before a regular person we're not going before our friends we're not going before a mere man we are going before the God of the universe. And so, what we offer Him is important, but also listening to what He has to say is even more important. Because when we listen to what He has to say to us, then we can respond to what He said to us and make the changes that are necessary that he is instructing us to make but if we are not hearing and even when we are at our home when we have our own personal time with God we must take time to listen so don't just pray or just worship and then you just forget about everything and you just you know take a little moment to meditate and let the Holy Spirit, you know, season our mind and our hearts 
with whatever we just experienced or whatever we read or whatever we we spoke to God about and listen out for that still small voice because God is speaking and the question is are we listening so may God open our hearts and may he help us to listen and not just to offer sacrifice but to remember to reverence his name as we seek to walk in his righteousness may God continue to bless us in Jesus name amen